Lovely stuff. Jaden, thank you so much for your time. And um, just been speaking to Jimmy about how he's feeling ahead of uh, tomorrow, given the number of chances that there were, which never quite found the back of the net. But what's, what was it like for you as the players um, seeing opportunity after opportunity and not quite working out on Saturday? Um, it, it's a bit frustrating that we get so many chances and we don't score, but we'll be more frustrated if we wasn't creating the chances. So we've got a lot to work on and we've got a, a base that we can we can work from, so that's good. And I guess there's a sense that it's not just the front three or whoever it might be, but it's working from all areas of the picture in order to try and start those opportunities being created. Yeah, players all over the all over the pitch are getting chances, so it's not just the front three. It can be midfielders, even defenders that are getting chances, so it's now it's just time to, to convert them. When you look at a team like Barrow, really struggling so they'll be scrapping you obviously you've got your own little scrap that you want to go and have and um, who is going to be sort of uh, having the most guts when it comes to tomorrow evening's game uh, it's both teams both teams no one in the league is is going to be an easy game they're fighting for to stay up and we're fighting to secure our playoff place so both teams are going to be at it and we just we just need to be more at it than them at the end of the day this time of the season when it's been relentlessly Tuesday, Saturday, how are the, the energy levels and, and how easy is it to pick yourself up for these games? Yeah, it is tough, but we've got a good squad and everyone around everyone around the um, training ground is getting around each other. We're a team and we all that we have, so we just need to work together and try and find the energy to, to make the final push. When you think about the playoffs, I mean, you've got three games, definitely. You know, I guess ideally you'd love to be able to sort of finish off there, but the, the re, you know, realistically it's going to end up being the playoffs. Um, do you have to try and pace yourself through those six games, potentially, therefore, rather than just giving it your all every game? Um, no, I just think we'll have to give our all every game because you, you can't really pace yourself in, in this league because everyone's going to be good and you can't really have a down day. Because if you have a, if you try and pace yourself, you're not going to give your all in every game, and this league demands all at all time. I wish you all the very best. Thank you for your time, Jaden. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, uh, Jaden. It's uh, Ash Leverage from Stride Times. You okay? I'm good, thank you. Good. Yeah, not too bad, thank you. How have you felt in the three games under Jimmy Ball? Obviously, uh, a, a change of manager. How's it been for you personally? Yeah, um, personally, it's the first first time this has happened to me. So it was all a new experience, but it's been fantastic. The, the team have adapted well, as if you've been watching games, we've been playing really well and it's not really affected the the, the games we've, we've had to play. So I think it's been good. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Ball said the other day, that um, you can, you're so quick, you could catch pigeons. Um, is that quite a, ni a nice compliment to hear at times? Yeah, it's always nice for the manager to, to give you confidence and, and compliments going into games. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Would you say that's an important part of uh, man management as well, Jaden, really? To get yeah. the players' it, mindset correct. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. It helps. Football, it's always good to hear good things about yourself and playing with confidence is what we need at the moment. So it's, it's good that the manager's given us confidence. Yeah, C certainly last Saturday, um, you certainly reminded me of, uh, not a pigeon, but uh, Roberto Carlos on Saturday when you had that great burst of speed in the second half. But obviously frustrating, it was... Uh, uh, the keeper is saying it's a good save, but will you say it's a bad miss? How, how, talk me through that one on Saturday. I would say, I would say I need to score. Um, the keeper's done what a keeper should do, but um, me being me, I'm supporting myself and should say I should have put that away. Yeah. Um, what would you say is your best position? Do you prefer to be a right back or uh, a, a right attacking midfielder? Um, I enjoy just I enjoy any, but um, I'm known as a right back, but I can, I'm an attacking right back, so I like to get forward and also 
my main job is to defend. So I, I, I like any. Yeah. You've had a couple of loan spells now in your in your time whilst you've been at Nottingham Forest. How have you enjoyed this one this time as a learning curve? Yeah, every experience is different. And I come out to get experience, which is the main thing. And I've got a lot of that this season. So I have to take that into account and thank everyone for the opportunity that they've gave me of coming here and just sh try and show them on the pitch how thankful I am to give me an opportunity of coming on loan. Um, I've, I am a bit remiss, but I haven't checked how long your contract is at Nottingham Forest. What, what are the plans for you at Nottingham Forest? Have you got another year or where are you at with uh, Forest? Yeah, um, I've got another um, two seasons at Forest. So okay. hopefully whatever one dream is to try and pay for their home home club. Yeah. So, yeah.